Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing a koala crate and I'm excited to open this box and to see what this month has in store for us. So if you're new to my channel, I create this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today, to give you different curriculum and organizational ideas and also ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button. Let's open this crate. So this month's crate is music which I'm pretty sure we had this with my son a few years ago. Obviously they are really good at not repeating products for the same child and stuff like that. So it wasn't for this child, it was for a different one, but I'm excited for her to be able to try it out. It says make your own xylophone, tambourine and dancing streamer. So that sounds like we're gonna be having lots of fun over here. So first of all, it's Halloween. I'm filming this on Halloween. Obviously you're getting it after <laughs> Halloween. So my makeup's a little crazy. I don't like Halloween. I don't like getting dressed up or anything like that, but I enjoy doing makeup. So we went a little crazy today. <laughs> so if you're wondering, that's why. That's why we look like this. So when we open it up, it looks like this right here. And so we have our instructions. And so that's gonna be, it looks like our little xylophone. I, I remember this, it's coming back to me from my son. So then we open it up and we have our instructions right here and then some further resources on the back. And then our little booklet in here is always lots of fun. It has little stories, but then it also usually has additional crafts, which it does back here to make yourself a drum. And then in here we have some little stamps. So that's fun to decorate with. And then we have, this is like ribbon. I think it's for our streamers. So that's what that is. And we have rubber bands. So pretty big. It looks like they will be used for our xylophone. And then, oh, this is for music. So you know how each one has usually a different color or note or whatever. So you can make your own music. So that's a lot of fun. This looks like it's for our tambourine. It has all of our little bells in there. And then this is for our xylophone. And then these look like the pieces for our xylophone. There are different lengths. And then we have our little mallets in there. So this is gonna be lots of fun. I think she's really gonna enjoy it. She loves dancing around and listening to music. We have a piano that, I don't know what you call them there. It's a, like electric. <laughs> it's not a keyboard, but it's a piano that you plug into the wall. And so it has a whole bunch of different songs on it and everything and she loves, loves playing with that thing and turns on the music and dances around and pushes all the keys. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun for her. So I'm gonna let her get at it and we're gonna let you know how it goes. So Lydia finished doing her koala crate and she had a lot of fun doing it, right? Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna show you some of the projects she made. So we did some music stuff. So what do you wanna hold up first? The xylophone. Here we go. Okay, so she made a xylophone. My kids do Let's Play Music, and she doesn't yet, but my other ones do. And so we have bells and they look, you know, they're basically a xylophone, but they call them bells. So they play with them all the time. So she was excited to have her own. So this is what they look like. And then do you want to hold up the music you're able to make right there? So she put each of the colors of the stamps on there and then she's able to make her own little music and compose it. So I thought that was cool. So she stamped these in a certain order and then you can look at these and play them in that order or at least at least attempt to. Her sister helped her out a little bit. So we're on to the next thing. Here we go. <laughs> so this is a musical streamer. I'm like trying to remember what they even call it, a dancing streamer. So she made this and that was a lot of fun as well. How huh? you got to stamp it. Can we show them how you stamped it? So there's some of the stamps. The stamps I feel like didn't work super well. I feel like they worked better the first time we got this crate because we got it for my son a few years ago and I feel like 
they worked a lot better. And this blue one, you, you'll notice there's not a whole lot of blue. This one is broken. I don't even know if I can open it without it. So it's in there and not attached here. You could probably glue it or something, but so that one came broken. So I wasn't very impressed with that. She was still able to use it in stamp here, but that's why she doesn't have it on anything else because it's broken and it would have just been really hard to use. Okay, do you wanna show them the last thing? What is it? <laughs> it's a tambourine. So that was a lot of fun for her to make on that uses some fine motor skills to be able to string through all of the different bells and stuff. But my kids had so much fun. They were, oh, she's gonna show you the instructions. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so my kids had so much fun with all of these. They were having a jam session at the piano. <laughs> And it was hilarious to watch them. She was on the piano. Our piano is like one of those electric ones you plug it in. So it, they have a whole bunch of different songs and all these different things. And so they're sitting there and they're just jamming out and she's sitting the piano and they had the xylophone, I think. I know that she had the tambourine on her arm and it was, it was hilarious to watch. So <laughs> there's a lot of fun to be had with music. Yep, she just likes to put it on her arm and shake it around, huh? Are you gonna shake it around for him? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> so I feel like most of the projects were fairly easy for her to do, like she still needed help from a parent. This part was a little bit hard because you put the rubber bands on and that was hard even just for her to put these on was difficult. But then you're supposed to alternate them. This one's kind of come undone. But you have to go up and over and alternate every one so they're a little bit more stable they don't hit each other and stuff like that and ruin the sound and that was a little bit difficult for her to do so just something to be aware of I feel like she still get a, did a good job these are still age-appropriate crafts there's just some help that is needed <laughs> for sure and then again it tells you right here what help is needed and I feel like so the xylophone says medium and the tambourine says medium just because of those fine motor skills. I feel like that's the biggest struggle with these is those fine motor skills. This one's a little bit easier because you just use one of the mallets they send you. They send you three of them and then you put it on here and they get to stamp it. So that one's very little grown up involvement needed, but she was able to have a lot of fun, huh? And we still, she's wanted to do a lot more with her music now <laughs> that she has all these instruments. So she's excited to go play with them, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you like these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time.